So, I'm gonna show you some cool things while I'm in Beverly Hills, just driving around today. Right behind me, the Playboy Mansion. There it is. That driveway right there. That rock, you speak into that rock, and that's how you get admittance into the Playboy Mansion that you can't see, unfortunately, but it's right speak there. Speak into the rock, and you will be admitted into the Playboy Mansion. Thank you. Right in there. So there you go, the Playboy Mansion right there. I'm not gonna show you, I mean, there's a million houses here in Beverly Hills, and they all belong to celebrities, but right behind these trees, right across the street from the Playboy Mansion, Beyonce and Jay-Z. I'm gonna go show you their driveway. So yeah, right behind me, Beyonce, Jay-Z, there's their driveway, boom, right up there. That's pretty cool. All the single ladies, they all are up there right now. Come down. All right, I'm gonna go show you the biggest house in Beverly Hills. And you can kind of see some of it from the street because it's that big. It's a beautiful day. Oh, it's so warm and sunny Southern California. Right here. It's the biggest house in Beverly Hills. It's called The Manor. It was owned by Aaron Spelling. Now it's owned by some race car driver. Some, or race car, the guy that started Formula One or whatever, his daughter lives here. This is the service entrance. I'll show you a Google Maps view of the, how big it is. That's crazy. So it's kind of like the backside view. It goes all the way around. But it used to be owned by Aaron Spelling, 90210. Built that house. And Charlie's Angels, the love boat, all that stuff. But yeah, South Mapleton Drive. Now, I'm gonna show you one of my musical heroes, someone I love. There it is, biggest house. Can't see much of it, but you can see it. Hi, Aaron. Oh, Tori. Tori Spelling. I don't even think she ever lived there. Who knows? Let's go somewhere else. So, up on Mapleton Drive, right next door to each other, is the home. Oh, Hood Life. LA Hood Life Tours. They're showing off P. Diddy's house right there. That is P. Diddy's house right there. Sean, Puff Daddy Combs. And right beside this place, this driveway, that would be Lauren Bacall and Humphrey Bogart. For those of you who don't know who that is, cool. Old time Hollywood stars. People say I look like Humphrey Bogart. I say I look like Brad Pitt. Agree to disagree. Humphrey Bogart, Lauren Bacall, P. Diddy, right there. So yeah, walking by, just walking by P. Diddy's house. Right there. Beautiful, beautiful manicured lawns. Let's get a good look at those. Some guy just went in the house and went, oh, he's right there. See how beautiful it is? P. Diddy likes his greenery. I hear he likes his green too, you know what I'm saying? Ha <laughs> what, what, okay. All clustered right be, uh, between each other. This is Ellen DeGeneres' house, which she shares with Portia de Rossi, her wife. I love story for the ages. I love them. Who doesn't? Yeah, this is their house right here. Ellen and Portia, right there. Right behind those gates. I'll do a little 360. Behind me, Ellen and Portia. Gorgeous grounds. I think I'm gonna continue this tour later on week or so because I got places to be but just driving through Beverly Hills now I thought I'd show you a few cool things here's something else cool oh yeah all right let's go oh and in case you're thinking about trying to get in you gotta talk to this guy he's the man in charge and this camera's watching all the time oh there's a code I got the code I'm going in 
Alright, there we go. Alan's house, right there. Cool. Twisty, turny roads. Ooh, ah, ooh. Big Cadillac Escalade, waiting to pick up someone. I know it's not my boy Eminem, because he lives only in one place. The D. Uh, I've come to this part before. Walked a dog here. There you go. It's been a while. Here's a cool little place in Beverly Hills. Hello, car. This was Lana Turner's house. This is where Lana Turner's daughter killed Lana Turner's boyfriend, Johnny Stompanato. Up there in one of those bedrooms. Google the story, it's pretty cool. Well, it wasn't a cool of a Johnny Stompin' Out, but it's an interesting story. I gotta stop saying pretty cool. It's getting pretty annoying. But yeah, Lana Turner, Hollywood starlet, right there. Hey, look, thanks for the drone. There you go. Anyways, yeah. Lana Turner's house. A lot of sh went down there. That's for sure. That's a pretty famous house. In Beverly Hills. And look how gorgeous this street is. Here's a celebrity house that's pretty has some interesting history. Can't really see it, there's the driveway. Burt Reynolds, 70s star with Lonnie Anderson, and before that, it was owned by Elizabeth Taylor and Burt Reynolds. But, no! <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor and Burt Reynolds. What? Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. Yeah, they lived there. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton, followed by Burt Reynolds and Lonnie Anderson. Both marriages, pow, pop, they did not last. Hmm. And Michael Jackson's house is just down the street where he passed away. He lived really close to where Elizabeth Taylor lived. Coincidence? I don't know. You know who lived in this house? Right behind these trees? Down in the little valley there? Let me show you his driveway. Disney's house. Look, you can see it back there. Part of it. But yeah, Walt Disney lived right here. All right. Walt Disney was cool. What did he do? Hmm, I don't know. I'll have to Google him. It's so quiet. Turn left onto Elevato Avenue. Okay. I don't really need a GPS, but when I'm up in Beverly Hills, I do because these streets are very, very, very windy and twisty. In a quarter and turn. mile, okay. turn left onto yeah. North Beverly Drive. I shall. Turn what? Now I miss what she said. Probably turn left. I'm going north. Like I'm going up into the into Beverly Hills right now. So I'm gonna guess left. Look, star star tours up there. Why aren't they taking pictures of me?